Thanks for checking into Weatherbug here on this Thursday. Todd Nelson with a look at your National Coast to Coast forecast. Well, it was about a week ago we were talking about a developing winter storm that made its way right through the midsection of the nation. We had icing and snow as far south as Texas and Oklahoma, eventually rolling up into the Great Lakes region with some pretty significant icing out near uh, Canada, southern Canada, and back into New York, northern New England states, and still some of that ice uh, seen here in this video. The good news is that we're going to stay rather quiet with warming temperatures, so we are going to help to melt that uh, ice and snow in a few areas that need to thaw. 37 degrees, though, this morning. As you get out near Fairbanks, Alaska, you can see some 40s below zero. As you get up north of Canada, and that colder air is really starting to get shoved up into the uh, Hudson Bay region, so we are starting to gradually warm things up at that northwesterly flow. It's still tugging down some colder air and it is colder than average in Detroit, or at least it was yesterday, and also into New York. Today, a little bit of a warm-up here along the front range of the Rockies from Billings to Denver, and then by Saturday we'll have even warmer conditions. But the morning wind chill, still plenty cold, 21 below in International Falls. Look at this, by Saturday, notice how mild it will be, and then by Sunday into Monday, a cold front slides through. So there's your Saturday temps, most in the midsection of the nation, anywhere from 5 to nearly 15 degrees above average, and by Sunday, starting to cool down, and this is when we have a storm system that will be pushing through the eastern seaboard. Winter weather concerns there. And the uh, purple, those are winter weather advisories, and then the Great Lakes giving up some lake effect snow. So that's where you have some of the heaviest snow developing there. But here comes our weekend travel concerns and a big travel day on Sunday. Watch what happens as the system begins to take shape over the eastern part of the country. The good news is that that looks like mostly rain, but there will be some snowfall as you get up in that uh, colder atmosphere well to the far north. We'll keep you up to date right here at Weatherbug.